Hey guys, Sam and Alex here from Top Tennis Training. And this is a forfeit game. We're going to be releasing these every week, so make sure you check out every week for one of these forfeit games. This is a great way, if you're a junior, to start your session or to finish your session. This is great for squad environments, if you're a coach and you want to end on, a, on something fun, this is a great way to do that. Um, and it's challenging for the kids or the players that you're working with. And in this forfeit game, we're going to challenge each other to hit the net tape while we're slicing to each other. The ball has to go over and we have to continue rallying until one of us hits the net. The person who doesn't hit the tape, so the loser, will have to do a forfeit. The person who wins chooses what the forfeit's going to be for the other person. So stay tuned to see one of us doing the forfeit. Let's take a look at the drill. Okay guys, Simon has lost the forfeit game so uh, it's time for his forfeit. I've thought up of a great one. Uh, at the moment we're six miles away from, uh, from our house where we're staying. Um, it's 32 degrees outside, it's really hot and I think it's the perfect time to let Simon do a little run. That's um, okay. So six mile run. Six mile? You want me to run from here to the hotel? <laughs> six mile That's run. That's a bit harsh. It is a little harsh but I think he can do it. He shouldn't have uh, lost that. Uh, forfeit game and hey the rules are rules so I get to choose the forfeit I'm gonna be behind you all the way I'm gonna be driving in the car every time <laughs> every time I see you slowing down I'm gonna beat my horn every time you hear the horn I want you to get down and shadow either forehand or a backhand volley you want me to run with my tennis racket no we'll have you running without a tennis racket okay you just shadow it with your hand oh man uh, leave the tennis racket in the car so six miles um, and uh, yeah, don't... Uh it's good pace, Simon, good pace. Keep it up. I really wonder when he's going to start feeling that burn. Not yet. Maybe I should make him increase speed a little. Come on, increase speed a little, get faster here! There we go, that's better. That got him moving. You're slowing down, Simon! Good man. Look at that view. Mountains in the background. Simon running through the streets. Palm trees either side. Keep going, Simon! Oh, look, he's getting even faster, I like it. Really pushing himself. Come on, Simon! Go! Go, go, go! <laughs> Let me catch my breath and then I'll carry on. <laughs> Where's the long road? I don't think we went on the long road. We went the scenic route. How are you feeling? I'm alright. You're halfway, man. Okay. I'll get there. 
Okay, you're, I'm lying, you're not halfway. <laughs> but keep going. So it's doing about 10 mile an hour right now. Faster, 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 you're slowing down! Faster! I won't risk it, buddy. How you feeling? I'm all right, buddy. A little update. I'm getting a bit tired now. I wouldn't mind a drink. Can I have a drink? No. You gotta get it. With it. You gotta just get home, and then we'll have a drink. You're Wait. a mean man. Come on. Drink? Simon, you're not running fast enough. If you want to drink, you better show some effort when you're running. Right now you're it's running a little too slow. Degrees, Dude, man. you're jogging. We talked about a bit more than a jog. You have to be really pushing yourself. Is this pushing yourself? I don't think so. Show me that you can push. Show me. I'm gonna have a heart attack. Okay, I'll push. Ready? There he goes. That's better. Okay, we have to go straight. Straight. In, man, open Dude. the door. Open the door, man. Hey! Come on! The only way he's gonna learn is if I drive off and I leave him there. That's the only way he's gonna do it. Otherwise, he's always gonna have an excuse. He's gonna say he's tired. There is no tired. It's only a six mile run. It's not that far. There he is. There he goes behind. Let's have a look at him. There we go. There he is. Ah. Ah. He's not going to push himself, so we're going to get back, we're going to relax, and in two miles' time, he'll probably get in. I know you won't be happy with me, but hey, um, it's just the way the cookie crumbles. He shouldn't have lost the forfeit game, and now, he, well, you know, that's his forfeit. Sorry. You want to play the game? You got to be able to do the forfeit. Okay, so these are the drinks that Simon's waiting for. I might have one now, just to relax a little. He can uh, get them when, uh, when he's back. He won't be happy, but hey, it's just the way it is. So here I am, relaxing on the bed. 
Ah, salmon's still out there running. I left him on the highway. Um, hoping he's going to be back in around 10 to 15 minutes. I gave him 12 just to push him. Um, but yeah, it should be an interesting one when he gets in. I mean, I'm being fair, right? Guys? Like, if we play the game, this is a forfeit. I'm being fair, right? Not quite sure what to expect when he gets in. <laughs> uh, let the wars begin. Got a song especially for him. Too far as well. I went down all the way down the road and I came back up. I thought, "Have a drink." God, man, that's hard. You're gonna pay for this, slug. <laughs> You're gonna pay. That's a wrap, huh? <laughs> 